Hey everyone, welcome to playtest session two for Neo Rider. I I'm here with my lovely tester and we're about to get ready. We set up the dungeon. Uh, again, Neo Rider is a dungeon shooter uh, adventure game. So the player will be navigating through a dungeon and uh, clearing waves of enemies. And the reason why they're doing this is to get to the boss, uh, but in order to get to the boss, you have to collect three battle crystals, which are hidden in the dungeon layers. So let's get started. So let's get started by setting up the dungeon room tiles in the following order. Done. <laughs> We've also placed the player's avatar on the starting room. And ahead is the dungeon crystal room with the one, two, three battle crystals that the player needs to collect. Once the player has returned the three crystals to the crystal room, the boss door will open and the player will get the chance to face the evil demon dungeon master guy. The four-sided die indicates the player's health. The player will roll the six-sided die to indicate their attack in each room. So each room has a defense value indicated by this layout drawing. And this represents the sided die of the room that the player needs to essentially beat. So as an example, the 20 sided die, right, is the strength of the boss room. So crystal rooms are especially more difficult. Um, so when, when the, if the player overcomes a crystal room, they get a special ability to upgrade their dice. So they upgrade their power, so from a six-sided die to an eight-sided die. Each time that they collect a crystal, they level up their dice. So it can go technically up to 12-sided die, and this is gonna be really good to face against the boss. So when the player enters a new room, uh, they'll execute the following tasks. First, they have to roll the defense die for the, uh, new, for the room that they've just entered. Then they roll their six side or roll their uh, power die to fight against it. And if they roll higher than the defense, then they cleared the room successfully and they can grab all the items in that room and choose which room to go to next. So let's get started. Yeah. All right. Let's start. I have a four. Mm -hmm. The room in total has a six. Yes. Um, power. And they also have a four. <laughs> nice. What do we do in a tie? So in a. So in the, ter in the case of a tie, where the defense and the attack are the same value, the player then rolls this power die, which is increments of 20, I believe, uh, increments of 10. And the, uh, they, they roll the power die for the enemy first, and then they roll the power for their attack. So let's try that. All right, so power die showdown. 80. Oh my god, that's hard. Alright. 10! 10! Oh no. You lost a life. Boom. So this room is a 10. I think that's the 10 die. This is the die. So the room has a 7. And I have a 4. So I lose another life, mm -hmm. which is fine. We can do this. Another attack. They have four. I have also four. Another power die situation. Oh my god. Okay. They have 70. We just kicked the boss. They have 70. This is. Ha! I have 50. Oh no! Another live losing. I'm on a bad streak right now. Here it goes. They have a nine. 
So our tester has won the crystal room, cleared the crystal room, and now gets to collect the crystal into their inventory. Our dice, your player dice, is upgraded from a six-sided die to an eight-sided die. Congratulations. Thank you, five. I have a also five. <laughs> this is pretty power dice heavy, this game. This round, I would say. They have a 60. Oh no, I have a 90. <laughs> And I have a hundred! Nice. Yes! I beat the room! Awesome! Okay. The room is 10. They have a 10, I guess? This is a 10, right? Yep. I cannot beat that, but I will try it anyway. <laughs> Seven. So, whenever the player uh, clears a room, they also gain a life. So, let's change our tester's life from one to two lives. So you've successfully collected the second crystal, which you may return to the crystal room. No, 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 no. And you gain a life. The next room is a 12-sided die. And I have upgraded the uh, die now because I have two crystals now. Nice. Okay. Four. Three. No. Got One versus six. Player gets to go to the next room, collect the crystal, gain a life, and yep. Three defense. Three attack. <laughs> Power dice action! <laughs> 40 defense. 40 attack! A double power dice scenario! <laughs> what? Mind blowing. It's such an intense battle in the dungeon. A hundred defense. And 90, 90 is so close, you lost a life. Ah, man. Okay, we can do this. We need my dice. Just 10. They got a 6. Can we beat this? Is the Let's question. do it. Oof. Lost a life, I you lost, lost the game. That's too bad. No. So if the player dies, they can return to the crystal room if they've cleared it. So let's go back to the crystal room. Also, when the player dies, the enemies respawn. So the player must, yeah, clear the rooms again that they haven't <laughs> cleared on the way to the next crystal. Also, lives are reset to four. The crystal now, hooray! <laughs> And the crystal room has activated. And the room door to the boss is opened. Down, the boss has a 20 sided power die, while the player has 12. Uh, the boss also has five lives, uh, while the player has four. Let's try. I have one. And the boss, boss has, has two. two. So you've got three lives. Five versus three. Fourteen. Oof, I have three. Three. We can do this. I have a few. Eight versus five. Oh, oh, a power dice. Power scenario. dice scenario. versus 80. Yes. yes. One hit taken. <laughs> We're down to the final showdown. Two lives for the player, one life for the boss. Let's do this. Oh, no. versus one. One versus one. Yay. The hype is real. Oh no, it's a 
Four, four. Power oh, dice boss. scenario at the very ah. last second. She rolls a 30 for the boss. And a 20 for the player, you lose! No! So, Tester, what do you think about the game, actually? I... It reminds me a lot of um, old school Game Boy games, which I think is pretty cool. It has something Zelda-y to it, which I like. Um, it, I think it, it might be more fun to play it in an actual digital space. Right, right. Yeah. You have skill that you need to in order to accomplish the rooms. These are very luck based, <laughs> so um, there is no skill involved in ro ro rolling a dice. So you just sit there and cross your fingers and hope it, it works out. Yeah. But all in all, I, I like the structure. I it it is very old school cool, mm -hmm. which I like. And what do, you, what do you think about it with the changed rules? Like, do you think it improved at all since the last one? I think so. I think it got more balanced. Uh, I think it got less frustrating because now you can have this, you have the, this base, this checkpoint in the middle that you can go to. You don't have the boss key anymore, which is less noisy because you don't have to like, okay, why you have to go there? You have more of a clear goal which I think is cool. Um, yeah, overall I think it got better. Nice, well thank you for playing. Thank you for... So folks, that concludes the second play test for Neo Rider. There's a few things I see that we need to improve on, um, but uh, nevertheless, it was a good run and see you next time. Bye.